hey guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video we'll be looking into how you can create a emoji picker component in react so for this video the library or the module which we are going to use for uh, creating that component is uh, this one uh, emoji emoji picker react and uh, this is the weekly downloads these are the basic stats of it the installation command for it is this uh, npm i emoji you can just copy this and uh, use it into your project so this uh, is the uh, documentation kind of a thing over here where you can see the features and the basic usage like the code snippet and uh, how you can get started with it so these are the props that are being used for that specific component so this is that component pick a component and you will be using it in your react application i'll just show that you in a minute so this is the official documentation npm package uh, readme kind of a thing you can go through it it is really helpful and without uh, any further ado let's get into the code so this uh, this is like the output of it we'll see in a minute i'll just show you so uh, let's go to the code so basically how i start with react is uh, by hitting the command npx create react app and the app name similarly i have uh, done for this as well you can also do that uh, or if you don't have any idea regarding that you can just uh, go to my previous react videos and you can see the, uh, those steps from scratch so this is the vs code data which i'm using and uh, this is the folder structure of uh, that so whenever you hit the command npx create react app and the app name you will get a boilerplate folder structure kind of a thing uh, as you can see over here uh, excluding uh, sorry uh, including the node modules when you hit npm install for installing all the dependencies for this project if you want to directly get started with this application or this demo uh, you can just uh, download the code from the description and just hit npm i it will also install the emoji picker component for you uh, as it is defined in package.json so go to the github page git clone and uh, or install or, or download it via a zip fold folder so the code will be available in the description as well as the documentation required for this so do look into the description so this is the module which you are using for this application and uh, as you can see there is uh, only one component which is being used all the all the unnecessary things which you get with the boilerplate stuff is removed so uh, if you have seen my previous videos uh, you might have noticed that um, there is a bunch of JS files as well as CSS files within the source folder so uh, for this I've removed everything and uh, there is only one index.js just to simplify the entire process so I've just removed this you can uh, get started with this as well from downloading uh, from the description below there's no issue in it and uh, just hit npm i before starting in within your root folder it will uh, install all the dependencies for it so this is the main component which i'm using it and which act as your app.js also so the component which i'm using over here is a emoji picker react uh, it has a bunch of uh, props and uh, parameters within it as you have might have seen in the documentation only uh, these are the props and uh, what are the arguments you can use with it and etc etc you also have skin tone options uh, so for this uh, we are just uh, using a medium uh, dark tone for our um, component which will see in a minute and uh, this is the functional component which is the app.js for the app app component as react works looks for app component within your application so this is nothing but a, 
um, state kind of a thing for usually uh, when you get started with react you usually uh, set a state and uh, that state might be like uh, this dot state because it is used in class component right <coughs> sorry so that is uh, the class component kind of a format and uh, this is a, a react redux kind of a state where you can use a state uh, in the functional component as well so if you have uh, noticed in my previous videos approach that i use is usually a class component and uh, define the states within that right so after uh, defining the states and uh, uh, getting used to the uh, structure of it um, i use the state uh, in this manner this dot state and the uh, state whatever the data which is present in state right but when you use um, use state uh, in the functional component this is the format so this is a redux uh, the new version of it of react where you can use a uh, state uh, in the functional component as well in the normal vanilla uh, react you can't use a, a state in a functional component you can only do that with a class component so this is one of the way you can um, uh, uh, induce a state in a functional component in react so this uh, makes a uh, really easy for each and every functions within your component to handle its own individual states right so this is the format uh, for using state in react and uh, for that i'll just put the documentation of react official um, in the description do check that out for more information on that and uh, if you want me to create a video on uh, uh use states how to get started with that kind of a thing like using functional component to with states and things uh, do comment down below i'll uh, create a video on that so this is basically a functional component with a state that is app and uh, it is returning a uh, h1 tag uh, a division and within that division we have the emoji picker component with some bunch of parameters right so this is basically a function which handles on click so um, the parameter which we have over here has a event or you can also say it as a function or a prop uh, which handles on click so whenever whenever i click on an emoji what data i get in return is uh, happening in this function so this function is binded with this parameter right as you can see this is the skin tone usually we'll only get one uh, medium dark kind of a skin tone we will not get a brown or a white kind of a uh, thing like as you can see over here skin tones these are skin tones over here and uh, uh, that was that was for the app component and this is a emoji data component so i've just created a small division uh, besides or the be below that uh, emoji picker component uh, which will basically show you the data whenever i click on a specific emoji what it returns you uh, when this specific event is triggered so after cl clicking that uh, emoji what data i get in return so this uh, is that data which i get in return like emoji names emoji a uh, symbol basically so you can use this is a prop which we get from this uh, component which and uh, we are using that in this basically just printing things and uh, binding it to the root id of app.js app uh, component app division basically so yeah uh, this was it for the emoji picker component and uh, uh, this was like a basic idea of how to get started with uh, the entire component we have only one single component for it and this is the uh, basic approach of it so let me just show you the output the code will be available in the description and you can just uh, git clone and npm i to get started directly uh, with the component or the example which i'm going to show you right so let's just npm start 
and see what we get. Uh, starting with the local host and uh, as you can see uh, this is the h1 tag as I mentioned earlier for the app component functional component and uh, this is our emoji picker so this is the medium tone which we are using uh, to not consist of any dark or uh, mid tones like a uh, format as you see in this uh, tone and uh, these are the various options within this and uh, you can just scroll and uh, look into it this will load automatically this is done by the component itself and uh, yeah this is our component so let's just see the event handling thing now we will be clicking on this emoji and let's see what we get okay so as i mentioned in, in this code this is the component which will take the data from on click handler whatever it gets that is name and emoji uh, in our case and print it over here so yeah this is a greening phase and the symbol is this let's just click on this one let's see what sunglasses zip cry sleepy face so basically each and every individual uh, emoji has its own individual characteristics and the and the event handler basically gets those data from the component and print it over here yeah so this was uh, the on click handler for the emoji which gets you the data from an emoji into this specific division and print it out in the uh, dashboard or whatever you want to call it as uh, this will the out this will be the output and uh, let's check with some other campaign so yeah each and every emoji has its own unique identity kind a kind of thing right so yeah this was it for this uh, video guys if you have any questions queries and concerns regarding this uh, do comment down below all the necessary things regarding this uh, this component this uh, illustration will be available in the description the code will also available in the description just git clone the url and npmi and you can directly get started with this output so yeah this was it and uh, thanks for watching